It's Feedback Gaming. Hello, time for another series. Today's going to be a slightly shorter series. The idea is, is that I can do a, a full series and it won't be as long as 20 episodes like the ISIS one. It'll be fairly shorter. And today we're going to be playing as North Korea. So, one thing that disappoints me about series is, is that we always seem to have the same objective. It always seems to be just to conquer the world, conquer the world. And I'll be honest with you guys, that's kind of boring. I'm kind of done with that now. Um, I haven't really done a world conquest. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't really plan on doing one. So, what I'll do instead is set an objective. Now, a common objective is to eliminate the main factions. And in this case, the main factions are... Uh, is it the CSTO, the Russian faction, and NATO? NATO is always a really tough one to crack because that's the. It's got a majority of the developed countries in it. But we're not going to do that. The objective is simply this. As North Korea, we are going to eliminate the North Korean enemy, Canada. No, I'm joking. It's United States. <laughs> the United States. Okay, so um, yeah, actually no, now I think about it, we are probably going to eliminate Canada at the same time, because they're in NATO, so we'll end up pushing into Canada as well. Okay, let's do it. So North Korea is who we're going to play as, and uh, the Communist Party rules, the WPK. Ruled by a great, great ruler, Kim Jong-il. It's in 2000, by the way, that's the reason why we're playing as... Uh, the old ruler of North Korea, our great, great leader. Okay, so you do start the game with quite a lot of stuff, and there are forts in the south of the country. I think South Korea has ports too, yeah, they do. So, invading directly through North Korea is a bad, bad idea. So, what we're going to do first, let's just sort out our production. Okay, so first of all, we get lots of choices, different tech we want to go for. So what we're going to do is fo focus on production, production cap, uh, overall production. Oh, okay, that's interesting. We are in 2000 right now, so that's actually really ahead of time. Ooh, that changes the options a little bit. Okay, modern construction tools. And going to go for... No, we can't even go for that either. Okay, well that changes it a little bit. I think the last time I did this, I did attempt to do this. And I did it um, on 2016 campaign. Hmm. So that changes the strategy a wee bit. So, hmm. Some of these are a little bit too far ahead for me to go for. I guess this simplifies the strategy that I'm going to go for. It's not going to be too complex. Uh, I think we'll build some factories. Actually, one thing I've spotted is we don't actually have a port. So the first thing we're going to need to do is build one. I think we can do with a level 1 port just for the time being. We've only got 5 production. Hmm, that's going to be an issue. Okay, I also want to produce some submarines as well. Scrapping, and the reason why we're scrapping is there is no valid port to submit them to, which is a concern. Okay, so we need to produce some guns. We'll produce some really old ones, it doesn't matter. Uh, wow, we need resources already? Yeah, we've only got 7 steel. Uh, supply equipment, uh, motorized, and some old tanks maybe? Mm, yep, old tanks will do. Maybe some artillery as well. Hmm, is that a little bit too much? I feel like I might just be better to concentrate on the main weapons. Hmm, that feels a little bit too much. Now that'll be okay for the time being. We do have a weird mix of units. If we look at our composition of our divisions, we have... Um, so we've got infantry fighting built, APCs, tanks, light and medium tanks built in. Like these god super divisions. Combat width, 75. I kid you not, 75. Okay, we are going to need resources. How many factories have we got? We have nine civilian factories. Which is very, very bad. I think we'll import some steel from our good buddies in China. Currently exports nothing. No possible trade route is found, and that's because we've not got a port. Well, then again, we wouldn't really trade with the enemies of capitalism. Ugh! 
those disgusting Americans, those capitalist pigs. Okay, so invading North Korea, South Korea, should I say, is not going to be a smart option. Al Qaeda summit in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, Egypt takes control of the Halaib Triangle. Oh boy. I usually don't play this in the 2000s, I usually play it in 2016, so a lot of these uh, these events that fire, I'm not really used to. There's not a lot of uh, countries that have yet spawned. Oh, this is interesting. That's a demilitarized zone of Kosovo. Interesting. Interesting. Malaysia. Okay, so... Our first target is going to be Japan. Okay, I realize we're not focusing on, on a national focus. That's a mistake. Um, is there any point going for political focus? So we are on communists. That means we're going to get some extra recruitable population, recovery rate, um, justify war goals, national unity. Eh, that's okay. It's, it's the production we need first. So we're going to probably spend the first... I don't know, in the first six months, just um, building up our production, I think. How long until that's going to be done? 31st of May. Yep, so I'm going to play on 5 speed, to everyone's pleasure. Yes, I'm playing on 5 speed. I love 5 speed. Everyone keeps saying, Dave, why do you play so fast? You need to slow down. And I completely, 100% agree. I play this game way too fast. I really need to slow down. Um, yeah, I noticed that a lot of really good players at Hearts of Iron 4, they play at, I don't know, 3 speed, and then they control each individual units as well as with battle plans. So that's probably what gives them that extra advantage. But it's insane how much, how big these divisions are. So the infantry ones are pretty big too. The 27, damn. No support brigades though. What have we got? We got a paratrooper. Maybe we can power drop onto Japan. Hmm. Can't remember how I did this before. I think I made a navy. I think that's what I did. Okay, so this gives extra production retention and production growth. The growth is amazing. Basic CIM software. Low manpower. It's not that low. I can deal with that. Okay, so what do we have? So... I feel this need to kind of... Uh, I think the biggest problem is when you've got these really big divisions like this, it costs a lot of army experience to, like, slim them down. I think I'm going to keep them as they are for the time being, just to keep things nice and smooth. Okay, so... Wow, there's a social liberal movement in uh, communi in North Korea. I don't think that will last very long. I don't know, something just tells me that that's going to be... Uh, Oh, another a demo, a democratic socialist movement in uh, Korea. Okay. Something tells me that's not going to last very long. Okay, so there are a few things we can actually adjust. So we get heavily regulated. It reduces national unity. Uh, interesting. Lightly regulated. It costs more consumer goods. All oh, right. We have taxes too. Let me just pause. Israeli forces retreat from the southern Lebanon. Okay. Uh, production efficiency. Yep, yeah, that sounds good. Let's go. Hmm. So very low taxes. It increases research time and national unity growth. That's a bit of a no-brainer. Oh, it increases consumer goods, though. Interesting. Research time. Hmm, interesting. I guess I'm kind of alright where I am, I suppose. Smack in the middle seems to be the best one. Hmm, okay. Uh, what else we got? So we've got war economy, the standard, really. Wow, there's really no reason to be on civilian economy. It's really bad. Syria insults Israeli over Golan deal. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, it's a separate province. Interesting. Okay, let's sort out this research. Wow, they all finished at the same time. Okay, so civilian is going to be useful, but not required. I think we'll drop one military first. And then we'll go for this one. That's too far ahead. Way too far ahead. 
No, and that one's... Ooh, it takes a year to complete. I think we're going to go for that one because 20% extra factory output is huge. I think we need that. Um, so I guess I went for this one, didn't I? And that's where it gets crazy far ahead. That's too far ahead as well. Okay, night vision is what we're going to do. Alright, we really should be making some more troops, I realise, as well. The problem is all the divisions have got, like, loads and loads of... It almost feels like, how did they even make these divisions with the kind of production that they've got to begin with? It's like... Oh, there are a lot of production in these divisions. Oh my god. The production cost... is 9,000. A thousand. Okay, I guess we're making one of those, I suppose. We'll make a few of those, and then we'll deploy them early, because we don't have all the equipment for them. We've got the manpower, we've got the equipment, but that infantry equipment, but that's pretty much it. Light mechanizer, motorized. Ugh. Okay. Uh, what do we go for? I guess we need the military tech, don't we? Where else can we go for? Damn, there's so many ideologies. We're pretty happy being communist, to be honest. I don't think there's any reason to switch out, is there? Machine tools. No. We don't want to need synthetic oil, do we? No. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So as you can probably see, all the divisions in the start of this game are all kind of god divisions. They're absolutely huge. Curse submarine. Major conservative rally. Okay. I'm missing equipment for light mechanizer. Okay, I don't care. Um, yeah, so as you probably know, it's all the divisions are kind of god divisions, aren't they? They're like absolutely huge. So what you tend to find is that kind of works for you because the AI kind of struggles to make one division. They always use the templates they've got, and they don't really, I don't, they don't really understand that these really bad big divisions. I guess it'd be nice to have some kind of right, like, really small, simple templates down, like just a simple tank division, simple infantry division. I guess that might make the AI not struggle as much. Okay, we need to get to the bottom of it because we need that extra research slot. Um, anything else we need? I guess this is going to be kind of nice. Olympic Gapes 2000. Nice. These are all pretty bad. No. Okay, civilian build-up is what we're going to do. Yep, am I researching that? Yeah, I am. Okay, we're making some army experience, which is good. <coughs> Closed economy. I realize that we are on service by requirement, but we have got an insane amount of production power. So it might actually be a good idea to, to drop out down to extensive. Oh, we can't because we need world tension. Oh, shit. I guess we're going to need limited conscription. We actually get a boost to factory output with that as well. Nice. USS coal bombing. Oh, boy. Al-Qaeda up to no good. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Resource collection. Nah. What does this do? Assembly line. Okay. United States president election. George W. Bush, candidate for the Republican Party, has won the president election of the United States. Dat Bush. Dat Bush. So we've got all that now. We don't need to research it. A lot of things actually come pre researched in this, you know. It's like a lot of stuff I don't even need to research. 2002. I guess we go for some more just basic techs, I suppose. Go for the extra equipment, I suppose. Alright, what do we need? So, let's just... Oh, no, no, no. We we're going to go for some more political power. We want to switch down to uh, limited conscription, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. We're definitely coming... Oh, wait. Here we are. Okay, civilian build-up. Um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, we probably should work down the military tech. Military tech is what we need more desperately than anything, really. Yeah, we need to pump out those guns. Look at that lovely Kalashnikov. AK-47. What a beauty. What a beauty. Um, I realize we should prioritize submarines. We really desperately need a navy. Is there anything we can do to give us more naval dockyards? No, there's not. In Hearts of Iron 4, there's a tech you can go for and it gives you an extra four refineries, but we don't have that ability. Hmm, that's really going to hurt us long term, that too. Okay, so let's think about this. So we need to go for the military industrialist. 
Not him. Left wing reformer. Nope, we don't have one. That's a shame. Nope. None of those are useful. That's all a waste of time. Look how many slots we get as well. Six slots. And it feels like there's not even that many to even choose from. A lot of them are kind of particularly ideology based dudes. Um, improve relations for 15%. Oh, we will not be going for that, that's for sure. Uh, close borders. I don't know, I'm tempted to go the closed bores. I get less production, don't I? No, we're gonna we're still gonna keep the product we're gonna keep the political power because I wanna drop down to limited conscription. I think we can still maintain the manpower, you know. I think we've just got a we have got an insanely large amount of manpower. Ten million dudes for this province, three, almost four, one, one, yeah, we've got insane manpower. Okay, so uh modern supply weapons is good. That's a year ahead, I don't think I wanna do that. Red dot sight plus two percent soft attack for leg infantry. Wow. Um, what can we go for then? So maybe we can go for s infantry equipment. That's an option. To get some more of that political power, We're almost there. So what might be a good idea right now is just to prepare for a war with Japan. Let's pause. So, night vision is complete. We've reached the stage now that we are pretty much complete on all our upgrades. So, is there anything we can go for now? That's a year ahead. So, we, we're okay doing that, but anything else is not really going to work. Modern tank, maybe? Yeah, we're not. We're running out of things to research here already. Okay, so... Yes, we can go for a limited conscription. Let's just see how much difference this makes. Let's just have a look. So we're right now at service by requirement, which is 7%. And this goes to 1.5%. Oh. Okay, that's not actually too bad. And now we don't suffer from all those penalties as well. Penalties as well. Oh, we have some marines. Ooh. You know what? Those are actually more desirable than the infantry. I think we're going to make loads of marines if you think about it. Yeah, let's do that. So that's six marines. Uh, make it... No, that's okay. That'll do. That'll do. No, no, that'll do. Um, these are really, really understrength divisions. It's because we don't have... All we have is the guns. That's all we've got. Okay, so we're going to slab these guys. All these dudes go here. Twenty. How many have we got here? Twenty-eight. Oh, twenty-four. Okay, so that's a full twenty-four. We're gonna turn it to a general. Uh, Ding Ping. Ping Pong. He's the guy for us. Uh, and we'll grab all these guys. Assign them to this army. Oh wait, Kwong Sun is gonna be our new field marshal. Okay, so where do we land? Where do we land? Hmm. My instincts are saying here, but I'm still not sure. I think that's going to be the right choice. No, I think I should. No, no, no. I'm actually happy with that. Let's get some oil imports as well. Saudi Arabia. Where else? Where else? Uh, that's good. Oh my god, we're really far behind on supply as well. Damn. I'm doing alright on tanks though, surprisingly. Okay, so, going to be the next question is, do I have the amphibious landing skill? I guess I kind of do. But I can only land 10 troops. Hmm. How many are assigned? Zero. So we're going to have to assign 10 of our strongest dudes. Uh, one, uh, hold on, what? one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and that's going to take us uh, 70 days. We're, we're pretty much over halfway anyway. Uh, maybe we should start fabricating on Japan. It's going to take 245 days. 
Alright, we have one submarine, so let's make our fleet. Chen Yi. Okay, that's going to be what we're going to need. How many boats does Japan have? None! That is good news, boys. That is good news. So, to make life really easy, is we're going to make you guys blue. I uh, can't even see what those pictures are. They're so dark. Go for the castle piece. And these are going to be like the cream color of Japan. Yep, yeah, there we go. Nice and easy to remember now. There's no way I'll forget. Oh, but, but. Okay, I don't know what that was, but it must have been really important. Okay, let's just pause for a second. Should we pause? No, 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 there's no need. Actually, what's this? Oh, it's resource collection. Ah, uh, maybe we should do that. Oh, some of these technologies we're going really ahead of time with. And the reason is because we're just, we're already researched up as it is, you know. It's not really... Actually... Are we researching... Yeah, we should be researching doctrines at the moment. We're not doing that. Okay, firepower done. Um, anything else we need here? I guess mechanized would be nice, I suppose. Yeah, let's do the mechanized. Manpower, low. Not that low. What do we need that we don't have? It's motorized. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of a weird relief, actually. I thought we'd be needing something else, but we don't. We need to import rubber, though. God, we're really far behind on that, aren't we? Uh, so we can research a year ahead quite comfortably now. So I think we should probably go for this one. It gives us extra breakthrough, which is nice. Uh, this one takes 140 days, but we get two military factories, which is nice. How's the production going? Yeah, we need rubber really badly. Let's get some rubbers. Only issue now is we're really cutting into our civilian factory production. Uh, producing four submarines a year. That's a lot better. So behind on steel. We're alright on oil. Chromium's good. Whoa, we're good on chromium? Yeah, we've got two chromium. Damn. Okay, are you ready? You're actually ready? Oh, wow. You know what? Now I think about it. We could actually probably do this now, couldn't we? Now I think about it too, if we land and we can't grab a port, we're going to need to build our own port. And to do that, we're going to need lots of civilian output. Mm. What does... Total mobilization cost? 5%? But the drop is huge, so it's 20% consumer goods dropping down to 10%. So that's pretty big, isn't it? So, as you probably gathered, you're like, No, Dave, don't declare war on Japan. As you know, they're already guaranteed by the United States. Yeah, I'm completely aware of that. I'm totally aware of that, and that's going to make all NATO declare war on me as well. But, eh, what can you do? A lot of the allies don't actually have... Well, I say the allies. A lot of NATO, quote-unquote, don't have a lot of um, boats. No, to the light. Uh, 24 boats? I guess that's not, it's not that many, is it? Um, do we need that? No, it's too far ahead. That's still too far ahead. I don't like researching more than two years ahead. I don't mind researching one year ahead, but two years... It's a bit too much, that. A little bit, a bit, a bit too much. It's motorized. Oh, it's supply equipment now. Alright, I think we're doing pretty good now. I think we probably should start producing the most modern guns, though. Oh, it's cost us on the steel, that. So that's the biggest issue. We have to import quite a lot to make up for the fact that we don't have a lot of industry to begin with. That economy is not very strong. Is there some kind of cheesy way that we can get more consumer goods? We could probably go for that. Mm, no. I guess it's 3% left. The September 11th attacks. Oh dear. There are some wars are coming. Watch out, Afghanistan. Watch out. Owned by the Taliban. Damn. 
Oh no. Saddam, are you going to be blamed for the September 11th attacks? Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> I think that might be the case. Okay. How many boats have we got now? Military build up four. I'm a bit worried that we won't have enough military. Yeah, I'm kind of worried that we might not have enough um, submarines to launch an attack. I think three might be enough. I'm not sure though. Is there anything else we need to really desperately research? Um, attrition reduction is nice. Modern industrial robots, pretty good. Extra 20% actor output. That's nice. Too far ahead. Ooh, that's doable now. You can get that extra, a little bit ahead of encryption, which would be cool. Play the drinking game, guys. Every time I say, when I say that's going to be cool, you have to take a shot. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, are we ready yet? I don't think we are. My biggest concern is if we land here. If we land here and... And we have to, we don't grab a port quick enough. And we have to build our own naval base. That's my concern. That is my concern. Ooh. How are we doing on production? We're about to be unmechanized. And supply equipment's really bad behind as well. Oh my god, we really need steel. Maybe we should shimmy this down a little bit because we don't need the guns as much, do we? We don't even... I realised we don't actually have any t artillery, do we? I think every piece of artillery we're making is just going directly into that division. So what can we research? It feels like a lot of these are not as useful as they once were. So enemy air support, army regrouping, entrenchment... Ooh, Artillery Specialist. That is one of the really good ones. Hmm. Army Experience, more Division. I guess the attack's useful, I suppose. Always got to be attacking, guys. Always got to be attacking. Always be closing. Uh, extra Soft Attack. This one's a pretty good one. Gets Multicam. Extra Defense and Extra Breakthrough. I'm really tempted to go for the very high or very low taxes, you know. Uh, artillery attack, division strength. I like the attrition one. It's only 4%. In normal Hearts of Iron 4, that's like... I think that's... Um, I think it's 8%. I think they've reduced it in this, this mod. Major conservative rally. Okay. Red laser, 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 I can't speak. Okay, so I guess we go for the holograph site. It seems like we're improving infantry quite a lot. Um, ba, 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 We've got a lot of army experience now, which is good. When we invade Japan, we actually make a landing, then we'll start modifying what kind of divisions we're going to make. How long are you going to take? 40%. Oh, wow, we're over halfway. I mean, one of the compliments I get the most in my videos, and I like criticism, guys, whether it's negative or positive, I always love criticism. One of the things I always tell, hear from you guys quite a lot is you always tell me that you like the fact that I play at five speed quite a lot. Uh, I figure the reason why is because probably a lot of streamers or YouTubers, they kind of play a lot slow, and it, I don't know, sometimes it gets a little bit boring because they're like playing so incredibly slow, you, I don't know, you feel the need to skip through the video. Who knows, maybe someone has actually skipped this bit in the video where I'm talking about skipping. And then they'll feel horrendously guilty and they'll feel the need to watch the whole video. <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Okay, so what are we doing here? Um, oh man, I wish we had more resources. Oh my god, look how, many, how much steel they get. Even that province has more steel than what I've got. Wow. There's a lot of oil around. Delivery blocked. What does that mean? Does it mean it's not got a port? The Shen Kaku Islands. Oh, I'm aware of this one. The Parcel Islands. 
That's South China Sea. 120 oil, damn. There's a lot of resources in this mod. The rubber amounts are crazy. Actually, this actually might be a normal vanilla. I'm just probably exaggerating the numbers. Australia's not got a lot, though. Oh my god, New Zealand's got nothing. Good old Chromium Island. Papua New Guinea has nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay, so we, we really should fill this out, shouldn't we? I guess we go for the division recovery rate guy. And then maybe we go for small arms when we're done. Yeah, I guess so. What are we doing for construction of boats? Oh, we're getting loads of boats now, that's awesome. Multicam, done. What next? Don't really want to go for- Oh, maybe I should. 10% more attack for marines. The only problem is when you mix regular infantry with marines, you don't get all the benefits. So I think I'm going to make it pure marine. Yeah, I think I am. Alright, you guys are ready to go when you're good to go. We're almost ready for war, gentlemen. What I'll probably do is if I really desperately need some civilian factories, I'll just make them there and then. I'll I'll cancel all my trade deals and then I'll use all the production of making a a naval base here. I'm going to have to rely on the derpiness of the AI to not understand what I'm doing. Do you know what now I think about? This is probably a little bit too much. Yeah, that's probably a little bit too much. Now we can do that. What we can do is pump out both of the encryption and decryption. That'll give us an extra nice little advantage. Two factories. In fact, four factories. And then one oil refinery. Just the one. That'll just keep us going for the time being. All right, we're almost ready, boys. This is it. This is Kong, King Jong. I always say I don't say Kim. I always say King. I don't know why. King John Eel's greatest opportunity. This is the moment that he's been waiting for his whole life. The moment where he gets to take revenge on the evil capitalists of America by first launching our way into Japan, and then we'll, well, obviously in the meantime we'll take on uh, North Korea as well. Our justification for war is complete. It's time to declare war on Japan. The Korea DPR goes to war. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. And if you want more of this content in future, feel free to subscribe. And then when you've subscribed on desktop, you can click on the cog icon and then click on the tick box that's been notified when I upload next. Also, if you are on desktop, you can click on, sorry, on mobile, you can click on the bell icon to be notified when I upload next. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.